He is the spirit of the kingdom. And he enforces the words of kings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why you have to think like a king. And you have to speak like a king. And if I must add, you must, you must behave like a king. And I'm going to get to that very soon. I'm going to talk about royal dispensations. There's a royal kind of behavior. Kings are the natural. When someone is born as a prince, they go through a process of training. There's royal decorum. There's royal dignity. There's some things you should never even think of doing because it's beneath you. Some things are beneath us. Say amen, somebody. That's why there's some words I cannot say. I can't say some things. Even if I want to give you an illustration, I can't voice it. Amen? Because it's beneath me. It's not the vocabulary of kings. Say amen, somebody. Not, not especially this kind of kingdom. This is the highest kingdom. This is the supreme kingdom. Amen? Amen. Satan is not happy because you're moving in, you're, you're, you're crossing dimensions. I hope you know that. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Speak, my people. Speak. Speak without fear. Speak without doubt. Speak. It will come to pass, says the Lord. Not by power, not by might, but by my spirit. Don't be afraid of speaking. There's no tax on speaking. Amen. There's no fine that you spoke. Instead of wasting your words on things that have no, no relevance, why don't you start to decree things? Well, Pastor, I said it, but it didn't change. That's what you think. See, when you said it, it went to the root. It went to the subatomic level when you said it. And that's where the Holy Ghost began to work on it. So don't worry. You stay in faith concerning what you said. And what you said will come to pass. Yeah.